you guys remember those paint by numbers uh, sets that we used to get when we were kids? Um, apart from sketching, drawing in my regular sketchbook as a teenager, I think um, those paint by numbers uh, kits, they were like a first introduction into the real painting. Uh, because before that I was way too intimidated just to paint with acrylic paints or with gouache paints or even watercolor paints by myself. So it did give me courage that there was a tool that uh, helped me to ease into the process. And then those paintings usually ended up at my grandparents. Uh, they would hang it <laughs> in their room and they would be really, really impressed with my artistic skills. Sounds familiar? Well, now 30 years later or nearly 30 years later, I am ready to do it again. So in today's video, I will be painting by numbers. And today I will be unboxing this uh, paint by numbers uh, kit that I got from Craft Ease. I like it that uh, their mission is to support independent artists and I like that their vision is also to enable people to um, explore art and to treat it as a form of art therapy because uh, the entry like barrier into painting with paint uh, by numbers is very very low so even those people who have never painted before but they would like to get involved into a form of a mindful activity. Uh, those kids uh, are really perfect for that, I think. Crafties also work with independent artists, uh, so I knew that I would choose uh, some sort of a botanical art. And I found this very lovely artist, uh, Summit uh, Gill. I hope that I pronounced her name correctly. And I chose one of her pieces as my paint by number set. I found her beautiful website and I fell in love with her floral art. So I will link her portfolio in the description box below so that you can also check her out. So let's dive into our unboxing. Okay, so here we go. It actually looks quite big, but it's not very heavy. It's very lightweight. So in case you have to Pick it up at your local post office because you weren't home. It's no problem at all. It's very, very light. And then when it arrived, it was wrapped in a plastic foil, which I didn't entirely like, but I can understand that if it travels uh, such a long way, then it has to be protected by more than just paper because of the canvas uh, that is inside. So I get it that it was necessary to wrap it in a sort of a, like a protective foil. So here you had those protective stickers that were protecting the package from getting opened. I just cut them with a knife and now let's open it together. Okay, so that actually looks quite nice. The box is bigger that you can, than you can see here. You can also turn this uh, craft ease box into an easel in three simple steps. We will check that out later. So I like that the packaging itself has been used to include those instructions instead of uh, printing out some extra uh, booklets that are maybe not necessary at all. So you have like a starter guide here instruction, how to start, some extra tips and those visual instructions on how to turn this box into an easel if you don't have one. Now let's see what else is inside. So I'm already loving this canvas. Ah, it looks great. I love botanical art. So I was very, very excited to see it online and I knew that I have to, I have to get one of those. So here we have the canvas. I'm just inspecting it if there are no dents and if it wasn't damaged. And then you can purchase just a rolled kit without any frame or a framed kit and because it was a gift for me from Crafties, I was really keen on uh, getting my hands on this framed uh, kit to actually see how sturdy it is. And it seems really, really nice. Okay, so let's see what else is there. Let me put that aside. Aha, uh -huh. so another thing that is included is this guide. I can imagine that once you start painting on those, you might lose track of some numbers. So this is a bit of a cheat sheet, so you can find yourself again among the numbers. 
in, the, in case you paint over some of the, the numbers and you want to fix some things or in case some numbers get lost. So I really like that. And then there's like a, a little pocket with some extra things inside, a thank you note. And it also includes some instructions on how you should uh, label your paint pots. And I think those are the stickers that you can use for the actual uh, paint boxes with the numbers. Aha, uh -huh, now I get it. So this is like this uh, cheat sheet for labeling the paints. They all have their, let's say, production numbers over here. And those numbers correspond to those numbers between 1 and 24. And then you have to label your paints afterwards in accordance with this color guide cheat sheet. Uh -huh, this is for the paints as well. And here we have some brushes. Okay, so I assume that every set comes with those uh, standard brushes. I think it's nice because especially when you're painting with um, acrylic paint or acrylic gouache, those brushes can really get damaged uh, very, very fast. For those of you who are painting with acrylics, you know what I'm talking about. And now the next thing that I'm gonna do is to actually check the paints. So I will put the stickers, I'll identify the numbers that correspond to a given paint box. I will probably go ahead and organize them into this organizer kit. And maybe I will manage also to turn uh, this box in accordance with those instructions into, uh, into an easel. And then I will test out the swatches of those paints in my sketchbook. So I hope that you will join me there too. So this is a sketchbook, a new one actually, that I like to use for my color swatches. So those are all the paints that I own and um, it's actually normal paper. So it's only, I think, 120 uh, thickness. It's not a watercolor, watercolor paper, but for example, this is acrylic gouache. It actually holds the paint very well and yeah, this is also gouache, uh, acrylic gouache and acrylic paint. And it actually works very, very well. <laughs> so I have this habit that I like to do color swatches for all the new materials that I buy. And even though it's just a paint by number kit, I would like to include some color swatches in my sketchbook too, because even if I'm done with it, if there's a color that I like, I will try maybe to replicate it, to buy it from another brand or to um, mix it up by myself. So I hope that you liked this review video. You can leave me a comment uh, below if you'd like to see more of such traditional media videos here on my YouTube channel. And thank you again to CraftEase for sending over this kit for me to test it out. Super nice. I will be really looking forward to finishing this artwork now. Mm -hmm.